It's the final few seconds before the lights go out and the race to the podium begins. You know this battle will be won off the track as well as on it. You've studied your tactics, anticipated every move like a grand master. You've researched and analyzed, modified and fine-tuned to perfection. You have honed your instincts to give you an edge over your rivals. Your drivers focused, your team ready. The championship in the balance. First past the checkered flag, the goal. Epic victory or ultimate failure. Welcome back F1 Manager family to another F1 Manager video. Today's video we're going to be looking at two brand new techniques that I'm using. Uh, they're not necessarily brand new as you have seen me use them in uh, my live streams and in some previous videos. So I'm going to be breaking them down today uh, and share them with you guys so you guys can also use them. Alright, so that's what the video is going to be about today. And yeah, remember to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever we post a new video or start a brand new live stream. And yeah, remember to leave a like on the video. Alright, so uh, we're all set for the first one. It's basically a high tier strategy. Uh, this, is, this technique is mostly for maxed out players with max drivers or drivers qualifying in the top 5 or the top 10. Uh, once you have your drivers qualified in the top 5, uh, let's say your Kimi qualifies at about uh, second place or third place and your Albon or your second driver uh, qualify at uh, behind and this technique is going to be a good technique for you to use uh, in the higher series so let's see what our qualifiers here see where our drivers are going to be qualifying there goes Kimi pulling up to third place so that's going to be good for us to show this demonstration. Though Silverstone is not the best track to show this demonstration, but yeah, let's get it done. All right. So uh, once your drivers start off uh, at the top like this, finishing qualifying in the top five, uh, he's going to push out uh, pretty early and possibly can get the lead. All right. So what you want to do is you want to let your driver keep that boost. Keep that boost running on your main, your first place, your top driver, while you go uh, into conserve with your second driver, and allow your main driver to go and use that boost and try to get up to first place. All right, so you're gonna let that boost run for about uh, two laps. Like we're here on Silverstone, we'll have to make the boost run uh, for two laps and go back to it in the second. Normally in an eight-lap race. Uh, that boost can run for two laps then you could cut down for the third lap and if your driver is in first place he's going to be at a good distance as you can see here our Kimi is at a good dis distance uh, from the rest of the pack he's up here challenging uh, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen for the lead so we're going to go back to pit with, with Kimi here since we have been boosting all that way and he didn't get around on Max Verstappen so he didn't get it to catch up to Lewis Hamilton. So we're going to go to pit now with Kimi. So all the top drivers are going to go to pit as well. As that's basically the same technique that they're using. Uh, like the one that we're currently using. So since we have been conserving with our Albon in the back. You want to cut your Kimi down now once you've uh, boost for the first two or the first three laps. You want to cut back down your Kimi and conserve. Uh, for the next three laps or the next two laps in this case and go back to pit in this in the fifth so we're gonna put in our go to pit orders with Alban he's gonna go to pit in the fifth and Kimi is gonna keep up he's gonna stay with the front guys and go so this is how the technique you want to use to get those one twos in the GP events uh, when your drivers are qualifying in the top ten So we're using the regular 3-2-2 three, three, two, two technique for Albon, uh, but then we are use a hybrid technique for Kimi Raikkonen uh, to push him up to the top. As you can see, he's still up there challenging the top drivers uh, in conserve at this point. As they're running basically the same strategy that Kimi is on. Alright, so right now they're conserving uh, for three laps. 
after they boost for the first two laps. All right, so there we go. Uh, Albon decides, uh, Verstappen decides to go to pit, but Hamilton is going for one more lap, and we're going to go with him uh, for that one more lap. Let's put in our go to pit orders now with Albon. And you can see Albon qualified in like 18th position, and he's now up to 17th position. All right. Kimi is just sticking with uh, Hamilton here. Though Hamilton is on hard tires and our Kimi is on soft tires, he's sticking with Hamilton. He's going to go into pit now. Hamilton is going to go around for another lap. That's all right. Before he comes into pit. So we should get by uh, by the time he gets in and out of pit. And here comes Albon now up into sixth position. And Kimi up into second position, waiting for Lewis Hamilton to go to pit in this lap for us to take the lead. And yeah, this is all you want to get, those one twos. So basically, you use your first driver that qualified in the top five, boost him out for two laps. Uh, if it's an eight-lap race, you want to boost for two laps and conserve for the last lap. He will... He, he, he possibly would get, get first place in that boost. If not, he's going to stick with those guys in the top and make his way around. So at the end, he can make uh, get that first place. And then your Alban, using your regular technique, come up and catch up. If, if, if both drivers qualify in the top five uh, for a race, uh, you want to use the technique on both drivers and boost them out so they get that one too early. And they'll just boost out and create a good distance. Uh, then they'll go to pit. And they're just going to be racing against themselves. Uh, away from your, from the AI cars and away from your rival. And get those easy one-twos. Alright. So yeah. This is technique you want to use in the GP to score those perfect scores. Alright. So now we're going to move on to the other technique that I've been using on also on my new account. Uh, this technique can be used... Uh, basically from series 1 straight up to series 12 uh, this next technique is basically the highlight the highlighted technique of this video uh, because this technique is going to move you away from starting with hard tires and move you into starting with soft tires all right so let's go into the next technique so this technique uh, that we just uh, preview is mostly for max drivers, uh, players with max levels, and so on. So that's what that one is for. So now this technique that we're about to look at uh, is mostly for every single player can use this technique. But it's mostly for players with lower level drivers uh, that are normally starting on hard tires. So this technique is going to move you away from starting on hard tires and put you in a, in, a, in a position to start with soft tires and you will be uh, in a good position uh, to compete and finish your races strong all right all right so let's go into the technique we're going to be using it here at, at Spain or driver levels or max but if you are following my let's play uh, new account series uh, you will see me use this technique on the new account with my low level drivers and yeah getting those wins so you want to start off with soft tires uh, so normally you you will use the 422 in the lower leagues to on Spain here but we're not going to be using the 422 what we're going to be using is we're going to be using a 332 technique with soft tires with a mixture of hard tires alright so you want to start off we're racing against a booster you want to start off all right so here again Kimi has gotten the lead so we can showcase uh, the previous start strategy that we just showcased again here uh, to show you even better how that technique works since Kimi has gone off in the lead so there we go we're gonna let that boost run on Kimi and he's gonna create a pretty decent distance between himself and the rest of the pack and secure that first place all right, so we're gonna let him run for three laps here on Spain. Normally, you want to let them let him run for about two laps or two and a half lap 
and then cut down to conserve so he doesn't run out of tires uh, going into pit all right but on spain here you can uh, go for three laps without running out of tires and go into pit with a max gimme so uh, we're gonna let him run for three laps and go into pit let's give a little boost or rival vessel trying to overtake our alban let's prep him up we're gonna start the boost now with alban let's put in our go to pit orders for our kimi start a boost now with alban good drive there from alban to get that position we're going up again let me get a screenshot of this booster i'm starting a challenge on uh facebook uh, where I'll be posting screenshots of every single booster I race and every single booster I beat. So you want to cut down now with Kimi as you boost three. You want to cut down now and conserve for the remaining three, uh, for three more, and go back to being the six. While we weren't, we conserved the first two and Alban. Then now we're gonna start our boost phase with Alban, so he can make up his way and make up some position into the top five. So once they go to pit, he can get up to second position or third position and score a good, nice uh, 47 or 46 points. So this is a technique you want to use to score high in the GP events. So as you can see, Alban has now made his way up to fifth. The incoming Spanish GP, you can use this technique uh, for the Spanish GP. Pretty easy, pretty nice, and get the job done. Now let's boost now Kimi and put in our go to pit orders as we're going to go to pit back in the sixth lap. Let's use that cut down technique and Alban here. And we're now going to boost Alban and put in that go to pit orders. DRS inside line got blocked. Is that Verstappen? Yep, looks like Verstappen holding back our Kimi here. Yeah, if we got, if we did, if we weren't being held up by Verstappen here, Kimi would have already caught up to that number three car. We're gonna get the overtake done now. So we're now gonna finish the race strong, boost to the finish. Kimi out there in first place and going strong. Use that cut down technique. Didn't get it. All right, let's cut down our Kimi. First up and he's now out of fuel. Let's boost Kimi. He's now out of fuel. So we're now going to conserve uh, into a finish with our boat drivers. And that should get us the win. Uh, due to our rival Hamilton using our rival using boost, he has a lot of fuel uh, on his Hamilton there, so he caught up. Let's see if his Vettel can caught up to Max Verstappen in fifth. And if Vettel get the overtake done on Max Verstappen, then he could win. Uh, but at this point, he's not going to be able to get that. So that's a good race. Well done, and a good luck. Screenshot. He also run out of fuel. He ran is Hamilton out of fuel and still lost. All right, so that's going to be that. So let's do uh, showcase the next strategy. So as I was saying, this strategy is uh, awesome for players that are not not maxed out. You can also use this this technique in series one, uh, straight up to series twelve. You can use this technique that we're about to show now. It's a pretty awesome technique. Uh, don't know how come I didn't uh, find this technique sooner, or didn't think about this 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 style of conserve strategy sooner. Uh, but yeah. All right, so seven lap races is not the best, the ideal place to use this technique. It's mostly for eight lap races, but we're still going to use it here for this seven lap race. All right, so normally what you want to do is you want to start with uh, soft tires at the lower levels your soft tires will give you uh, two to two laps or one to two lap 
all right so you want to conserve for the first two laps that your soft tires are going to give you if your drivers are at a good level and you're getting two to three then you want to conserve for three laps all right then you want to go back into pit into hard tires so you're still going to be using hard tires however you're not going to use hard tires at the start uh, to get a slower start you're going to use soft tires at the start so you get a faster start all right so this technique is going to give you a faster start in the lower levels all right and in the lower series and with drivers that are not highly leveled this technique is going to give you a better start so you want to start and then you want to cut down to conserve cut down to conserve and you're going to start your conserve portion on soft tires all right so if if it's an eight lap race uh, you will be able to go for three laps so you want to conserve straight around for three laps as it's a seven lap race here we're going to conserve for three laps with our drivers here and then we're going to go back into hard tires then i'm going to show you the key uh element of this technique that makes it so good as you can see here our rival is boosting his kimmy so he's going to go to pit in the second while we're going to go to pit in the third all right his kimmy got stuck in hamilton there He's using Kevin Magnuson. His Kevin Magnuson is in the back. Uh, his Kimmy is going to go to pit in the second. He can't go for three laps unless he's going to run him out of, out of tires. So we should make up back some time uh, as he goes into pit. He's also okay. He's running his Kimmy uh, for three. So that's going to run out of tires. He's also running his Max, uh, his Magnuson for three. So he's also is going to run out of tires. So we should get by them before they go into pit. So let's put in our go to pit orders now to those hard tires. And the key element now, when you go to pit into these hard tires, uh, you're going to be able to start your boost phase. So this is going to be the key element of this technique. You're starting your boost phase way early. You're starting your boost phase in the third lap, at the end of the third lap instead of at the end of the fourth lap. Alright, so let's boost now our drivers into pit. Let's give our rival a well done. And a good luck. Alright, so now we're going to be boosting. If this was an 8 lap race, uh, you will now be in your boost phase and you will be boosting uh, all the way out. Alright, so since, this, since uh, we are now on hard tires, we can boost now for 3 laps. And go back to pit in the six, right? That's when you would normally go back to pit in the eight lap race in the six, and then you go back to pit into a fresh pair of soft tires and boost to the finish. So we're going to be going back to pit in the in the six here. So we're going to be overtaking his Kimi, unless he's going to run him out of tires once more. And we're going to go back to pit in the six. So we start to boost one lap earlier, and that's big for lower lower tier players and lower series players uh, because you, your drivers are now going to be able to pull some positions and get a lot more value out of your fuel and get a, make a lot more difference for you so your rival is going to go back to pit now and we should get by him as he's in pit as we're going to go back to pit in the six and we're going to go back to pit into soft tires go Alban So now Alban is out into Fort. Our rival have a lot of traffic uh, coming in front behind Alban. There is his Kimi following or or Kimi. That's all right, as or Alban is going to be the key to the victory here, and we're going to go back to pit into soft tires, and we're going to boost to the finish. Also, as you can see, we have a lot of fuel remaining. Uh, to continue our boosting phase and yeah this technique is just really epic can't believe I didn't find this technique uh, earlier normally if it's the eight lap race if this was an eight lap race we'll still come back to be in the six and we'll ha we'll now have uh, fuel and tires to boost for the last two laps our rival is out of fuel here we come here comes our Kimi he's not yet out of fuel should be able to get around our rival here Yep, get that first place. Here comes Alban. Should be able to go around Lewis Hamilton here and get that third place. 
And yeah, this technique is elite. It's a great technique to use. For any series uh, with any level drivers, you can use that technique uh, for a faster race. That if you were looking for a faster race, if you're struggling with your hard tire starts, then this technique is for you. All right, so we're gonna do one more race. Uh, hopefully, we get an eight lap race, so I can showcase the technique again. So it's still the conserve strategy. Uh, it's just a, it's still the three, it's still the three three two technique, but it's 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 different. Uh, entire selection. All right. So I use this technique on my Let's Play new account. If you haven't checked that out yet, uh, you can see in the video catalogs. Uh, we started our, our brand new account and we're now running it Let's Play. So you can go back and look at from uh, number one, part one of the video, and make your way through the series. And yeah, it's really epic. Later down in the series, you'll see me use this technique how to get these wins. Nice qualifiers here from both drivers, and it's going to be a wet race. So yeah, I'm going to finish up this wet race, and then that's going to be it for the video. Uh, I was hoping for a dry race so I can showcase the technique. Uh, but once again, we're matched on Silverstone, so that couldn't work either way. As we have already raced in Silverstone, we we're looking to match on somewhere like uh, possible Melbourne Australia if we had got a, a match on Melbourne that would be good how to showcase this technique in an 8 lap race but yeah so in an 8 lap race you want to do the same uh, conserve for the first 3 laps and then you want to go back into pit into hard tires and start your boost phase from there and boost until the 6th lap then you want to go back into pit into soft tires and then you continue your boost into finish. It's unstoppable. Let's give our Alvo a well done here and a good luck. His Alban is trying to catch up to our Alban, but our Alban is pulling away. He would have to invest uh, fuel and tires to keep up uh, with our Albon here. As you can see, his tire management is way lower than ours. So he is investing uh, on regular driving. He's currently on regular driving based off of his tire management, based off of his driver movements. So he went to pit in the second uh, with Albon, trying to use the undercut technique uh, to undercut us. But that's not going to work. You never want to undercut Game of Wicked King. <laughs> it's going to hurt you, bro. Alright, so here we're going to get ready to boost our Kimi. So he can create some distance so our drivers don't stock. And we're going to let Albarn continue in his conserve. So Kimi is going to take all of that clean air in front. And he's going to boost out, get into pit. And left, leave pit by the time Albarn to get in. Here comes Albon. Let's see if we're going to stock. Perfect pit. No stock. And we're going to start our boost now with our Kimi or Albon. So our rival Albon came up and got the position. So that undercut was successful. But only against our Kimi. And Kimi is going to now in our, his boost phase uh, get by our rival Albon here. Or Alban is in his boost phase. As you know, we're doing the four, the three-two-two technique for Silverstone ultimate technique for Silverstone three-two-two. He's gonna go back to pit. Let's give him a smiley face. Let's give him a good look. There's no way he's gonna catch us. Or, or no way he's going to be able to undercut us as Alban has a lot of clean air and he's going to make use of all that clean air going in the engine it 
There he goes, getting out before they even came around to go past the pit gates. So let's give our rival a well done. Let's give him a good luck. All right, so for the secret code word, secret code word for this video is gonna be, uh, let's see, good luck. Yeah, so we're gonna use code word good luck for this video. So if you have made it uh, to this portion of the video, really thank you for your support. And thank you for watching until the end of the video. And we're gonna use code word good luck in this one. So leave a comment down below, uh, code word good luck. And yeah, thank you for all your support. Look out for our next live stream on Thursday. Uh, should be tomorrow. So that's going to be our next live stream. If you want to join us live, uh, look out for that tomorrow. It's normally it normally starts about uh, 11 a.m. UK time. So if you can. Uh, measure that time with your time then you can figure out what time in your local area we're going to be starting our live stream all right so yeah that's a good win all right so that's going to be it for this video, not the waste great, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace. All right.